Coming up on this week's show, a special presentation of Music Madness, our exclusive interview and live performances with musician, singer, and actor John Taylor. On this week's show, a special presentation of Music Madness, our exclusive interview with musician, singer, and actor John Taylor. John's best known as one of the founding members and bass player of one of the most influential and stylish pop rock groups of the past 20 years, Duran Duran. After releasing his first full-length LP, Feelings Are Good and Other Lies, in 1994, John Taylor closed his eyes to Duran Duran and a little more than a year later embarked on a solo career. Since then, he joined New Rotic Outsiders and released a CD in 1996. Like his first solo project, The Power Station, in 1985, Neurotic Outsiders included a collection of musicians from other bands, like Steve Jones of the Sex Pistols, Duff McKagan, and Matt Sorum from Guns N' Roses. 1997 brought another solo release from John, an EP entitled Autodidact. In the last two years, John has assembled a group of musicians and released his second full-length solo CD for his latest incarnation, John Taylor Terroristin. John Taylor sat down with us in October of 1998 during his first East Coast tour with the new band. In part two, John discusses his involvement with Neurotic Outsiders in 1996 and will air the only video made by the band entitled Jerk. We'll also talk about John Taylor's first full-length LP, Feelings Are Good and Other Lies, and we'll bring you the video for Feelings Are Good. We'll also discuss the making of the video with director Johnny Benson. And finally, we'll have more coverage from our Music Madness exclusive New York City debut of John Taylor Terriston. So let's take a look at part two of three parts here on our Music Madness special, John Taylor, Past, Present, and Future. Welcome to another edition of Music Madness. I'm your host, John Harris, and we are here with the legendary Mr. John Taylor. Thanks for showing up on the show, John. You're welcome. <laughs> it's good to be here. Is it, Doug? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, we, we, we're really happy to have him here today because he's currently on an East Coast tour with his new band, John Taylor Terriston, playing tonight live at... Uh, Life Nightclub and wanted to ask you John about uh, another band which was uh, Neurotic Outsiders. Now that project with uh, Steve Jones and Pistols and Duff McKagan and Sorum and all that, they, uh, you, you did that right around the time it seemed that the, that whole power station uh, reunion thing was happening. Was there any kind of, uh, uh, in other words, did you consider working with Neurotic Outsiders and, as opposed to working no. with Power Station? No, the it seemed like all the promotion thing happened at the same time, but I'm sure the recording process was... No, I, uh, I, I walked away from the Power Station, um, uh, I guess months before, yeah. figuring that wasn't going to work for me, but the, uh, the, 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 the chemistry of Neurotics was... Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I got it was entirely that. different. Yeah. And um, it was no pressure to be anything other than the Herberts that we were. And um, it was at a point for me where I really wanted to return, where I really wanted to go back to basics. Mm -hmm. And we, we got ourselves a regular Monday night slot at the Viper Room in, in Los Angeles, and we just started playing there every Monday night. Mm -hmm. And we'd have a different guest. Iggy Pop came and sang with us. Billy Idol came. Slash, Brian Setzer, right. and Simon uh, Lebon, and uh, it was just uh, it, it, you know it was just a scene for for a couple of months, and uh, and then um, we got a deal like like that. Maverick. Yeah. Yeah. Guy Osiri said, you "Whenever you're ready, whatever kind of album you want to make." <laughs> Well, okay. you guys were pretty powerful on stage. I yeah. happened to see the gig at uh, Irving Plaza. That was a great gig. You just ripped into the planet yeah. Earth at yeah. the beginning there, and then Billy <laughs> Idol came out, yeah. and uh, Slash was there, yeah. and it was it was that a, was, it was a great amazing. gig. Yeah, uh, I was actually surprised that uh, that there wasn't more attention paid to that band because I mean, you, you guys were able to tour and everything. Yeah, but, but we were for me. I mean, Jerk was just so powerful of a song, and uh, and just the whole album, every song. Was yeah, when the album came out, though, we, we weren't we weren't really available to tour it, and. Uh, 
um, you know, it, it, it suddenly there were everybody, there were conflicting schedules and, um, you know, the Guns N' Roses started working again. And uh, I don't mind, frankly, mm. you know, I mean, for all of us, it was, it was a great experience. You know, I, I don't think it, I wanted it to become my career. You right, know? right. It, it was fun for a, for, an, for a year. For a year. Well, in that year, they managed to somehow make a video, and that was for the song called Jerk. The only video I actually made yeah, for Neurotic yeah. Outsiders. And why don't we go to that? We'll be back with uh, more Music Madness and more talk with John Taylor right after this. In nature, there are in many bizarre twists of the notion of widow having your cake and eating to intercourse a meal of her meat and her aggression. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. You just finished watching Neurotic Outsiders with Jerk. That's uh, one and only video they made in support of that LP back in uh, 1996. Don't look at me. I'm <laughs> terrible with that. I'm terrible with dates. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to go and talk now about the latest band. Tell us about John Taylor Terriston. Tell us about the new LP. Well, uh, well the band is um, an old friend of mine from London, Jerry Laffey, is a wonderful uh, lead guitarist of the, the old school, um, Mick Ronson, Jeff Beck, kind right, of right. Gibson, Les Paul through Marshall, you know, real uh, classy uh, rock guitar player who I've, I've known for a long time. And uh, the keyboard player is a guy called Michael Railton, who I met to Jerry Harrison working on the Neurotic Outside. Is he, he played with general public, and he's just he's just an all-round uh, maestro. He's, he's from Liverpool, actually. Terrible sense of humor. But, um, <laughs> you know, he's a classical player who plays a lot of techno. Mm. And, uh, you know, and I love that mix. Um, the drummer sitting over there, Larry Aberman, he's from Philadelphia. And he worked a lot with Niall Rogers. And uh, he's a little bit younger than me, and we hit it off straight away. And um, John Amato, the sax player I've known for a few years in, in Los Angeles, and uh, you know, right now we just we just started to play songs from my past. Mm -hmm. We started to play Rio. We started to play. Uh, just added the Reflex, actually. Um, Which you're playing so tonight, right? Yeah, we play songs from the Autodidact. We play some. We play Feelings Are Good. We play uh, play a couple of other songs that uh, we haven't recorded yet, and. Uh, and, um, you know, that's how we started off. And that, the, the EP, the CD, nine-track CD that you can buy, mm -hmm. Terrorist, and it's kind of just what we are out of the box. Uh, uh, the idea is that we're going to keep playing and playing, and we're going to find our own, we're going to become a sound. We're going to, uh, each individual sound is going to amalgamate, and we're going to become something, right. something different. Right. But right now, we're just playing songs that the kids that are coming to see us want to hear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with some, with some exceptions, and um, you know, I mean, great bands. I mean, it takes time, you know. And uh, but everybody in the band I love, and we have a great time together. We respect each other as musicians. We uh, um, respect each other as musicians, if, as if that's possible. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Man. It just really works, and and and, and right now we're. It's a, it's a good thing to be part of. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's see a uh, little bit of what John's talking about. Here is uh, another performance of ter uh, John Taylor's Terrorist and uh, performance here at Life.
Back here with more music madness and Mr. John Taylor, who's over here talking Thank to us today. <laughs> uh, had a question in regards to your first solo LP, "Feelings Are Good" and other lies. Yeah, which was done before Neurotics, actually. Was it? Yeah. Okay, it was released in 1995. How long did you take in doing all like the lyrics and stuff? Was it a, like a long, ongoing process? Because um, yeah. I know, I think, I think I heard something about you crammed all your time into the recording studio to do that first recording. About 94, it came out, uh, came out came out at the beginning of 95, I think. Beginning of 95. Yeah, yeah, and we made it available, created a website, that was when I started getting into, right. you know, the online sales, and uh, so we created a website and a label to, um, to sell that album, mm -hmm. and um, we're still selling it now. <laughs> and, it, you know, it kind of gave us a couple of songs, that, that was what it was a perfect band to play those songs. Yeah. Well, Steve had played on the album anyway. Right, right. And uh, it was a dream, you know, really. That was what I brought to the, um, to the table when, you know, we all brought songs, Steve and Duff and I, and, and I had just finished that album, so, you know, I picked a couple of the uh, spunkier tunes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I thought it was interesting, actually, that uh, Steve Jones ended up on your first solo album and Andy's and, and way back when with Andy's yeah I was talking to somebody the other day who said they have a theory a conspiracy theory <laughs> <laughs> get a sex pistols involved and that'll well, be the end Steve Jones is like this <laughs> like trying to destroy your now a uh, uh, couple years after that you released an uh, uh, EP called Autodidact in 97 yeah. right. right now here's a question the, on, on that included a CD-ROM for the video for Feelings Are Good right. now I'd seen the credits in that and it said November 97 that the actual video was was made. Come and meet Johnny Boston. He's the director of that video. Oh. He'll tell you. Well, what I tell you? He'll tell you. Hello. 
And Johnny Boston. Hello. He directs your feelings are good. Um, yeah, tell us about the making. I was curious actually about the fact that the album was released two years earlier and then suddenly in November 97 we have a video for it. Why, why was it made at that point? Well, we made it earlier actually. Did but you? It was just, yeah. It hadn't been edited up until that time or something. No, it had. When did we do it? We did it... Because uh, yeah, it, it was 97. It was 97. Yeah, we just... Was, we, but that was the thing that was confusing. September, it was like... September. You know, it wasn't... It didn't seem to have been I, I released why. for the first album and then Auto Died Out, suddenly there's the single for the album. I forever. know why. It was because we got a deal to put the album out in Japan and they gave us some money to make a video. That's what happened. They gave us five grand to make a video and we spent six, didn't we? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a pretty effective video, actually. Uh, for Especially considering you only ended up spending $6,000. Well, actually, it was more than that. <laughs> Actually, it's sixteen thousand yeah. dollars. It's six thousand dollars over budget. <laughs> no, yeah, but it wasn't. I think that's expensive. what John was trying to say. It has to be the least expensive video I've made, and the most expensive video you've made. Something like that. Yeah, yeah with your Vivian Westwood shirt on in that as well. The uh, sex jacket, something. Like oh yeah, sex yeah, right, right. Thing yeah. That's tying you up and all kinds of crazy things in the video we're about to show you now. So here it is. <laughs> feelings are good from the album feelings feelings are good are in other lies and could also be found on the cd rom uh in the cd rom version on autodidact ep from john taylor he knows his stuff doesn't he well, he knows his stuff you know i've been i've been i've been uh following you guys for a while in fact the only reason i ever got into duran was because of power station to be quite honest oh, with you really? yeah mm -hmm. yeah so there you have it feelings are good check it out we'll be right back it's john taylor <laughs> Welcome back to Music Madness. We're here with John Taylor, who's currently on tour on the East Coast with his band, John Taylor Terriston. And that was Feelings Are Good, from the album Feelings, Feelings Are Good and Other Lies. 
Okay, so now. No we, irony intended. Right, right. Irony intended. No irony. This is an irony less program here. Okay. An interview. Sorry. We'll try. Okay. That concludes part two of our three part Music Madness special John Taylor, Past, Present, and Future. Stay tuned next week for part three for even more exclusive footage of the New York City debut concert at Life Night Club of John Taylor Terriston and more from John discussing his musical influences, Duran Duran, and his plans for the future. We'll see you next week with more Music Madness. Hi, I'm John Taylor, and you're watching Music Madness. This is your host, John Arras, Channel 34. Don't touch that dial.